Hey guys, it's Dr. Bryant here, and today I'm gonna to give you my three tips on how to manifest your desires. Tip number one, believe. What does that mean? That means you have to believe in that at which you desire. Listen, we're convicted by our beliefs and we produce who we are. That means that if we are asking for something, but not believing that we will receive it or that we are deserving of it, we are negating that at which we want. We're putting resistance up to that at which we're asking for. So it's almost like we're defeating the purpose of even asking for something that we don't believe in. If you believe you can have it, or if you believe you cannot have it, both are right. But remember, to manifest that at which you want, you have to believe it with all of you, that regardless of how long it takes or who delivers it, at some point, it will be yours, yours to experience. Tip number two, make happy a habit. Yes, what does that look like? For example, everything you think should be in habit of happy thoughts. Everything you feel, you should be making a habit of happy feelings. And last but certainly not least, all of your actions should be that, that resemble that of happy actions. I always tell my clients, we have a three-part house. And in order for manifestation to take place, your three-part house has to be in agreement, has to be in alignment. What is that three-part house? That three-part house is how you think, how you feel, and how you act. Align those three and you are in extreme manifestation mode. So make it to where everything you do all the time is a habit of being happy. The universe doesn't know good or bad. It just knows what we're feeling and what we're vibrating on. And so again, it is going to respond and manifest more of what we are feeling, thinking and doing. And so that's why it's important to make happy a habit. Tip number three. Make sure you are feeling that at what you desire. I always tell my clients, it's not good enough for you just to think that at what you want. You have to embody how it would feel if you already had that car you wanted, that job you wanted, that marriage family partner that you wanted. How would it feel to have that? You have to embody what it feels like. Again, emotions, they do this, and they send out a vibration to the universe. The universe responds to that at which we are vibrating on. And so we are vibrating at a very high level of emotion that's directly in alignment with what we want to manifest. The universe is going to respond to that. But if we're vibrating at a very low level, the universe also picks up on that. So I want to make sure that you are not just thinking about those thoughts of what you want, but you're embodying and really feeling what it would feel like to drive that car, to have that job, or to walk down that aisle, or even to be at the altar waiting for your beautiful partner to walk down to you. And I suggest that you take my three tips and don't just use it to manifest one thing in your life. No, 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 make this a lifestyle. I want you to be manifesting every day of your life and living the best quality of life that you deserve. Remember, it's a human right to be abundantly blessed and it's your right as well.